always known I've always been spunky, but um, I mean, the fierceness came out, I think. Um, and I it really showed that she really does love me for who I am, and I just she just wants me to be happy. So that's what it really came out. So the mother and cub. You, now you yeah. understand when you see National Geographic. <laughs> yeah, and I think when when a child is going through something like this, or a child is going through anything that, and it just doesn't have to do with being gay or being transgen transgender. When a child is going through something, um, I believe a mother's protective feelings come out even stronger and that's the way that I feel now and that's why we have made the decision that allowing him to transition now versus later is the way that we feel it's the best for us as a family because even though he's 15 and he goes out there on his own and he's got his own friends and kids are going to be kids um, the home base is where a child has to feel protected. Like he can come and be safe and if he's having a very bad day, he can let it out. If he's having a good day, he can let it out. Um, this is where he can be who he is. And so I guess I've just become probably overprotective or more protective than I always, than I ever have been. So because your mom is, mm -hmm. you know she's overprotective, do you ever feel like there's some things that you just, when something happens, there's going to be a limit of, to what you share? Like some things, <laughs> you know, like if, I, if this little thing happens, I'm just going to keep it to myself. But if this major thing happens, I'm going to share. Do, do, you, do you have that concern about your mom sometimes like you just don't want her to worry and oh yeah there's a lot of things that I've held back because there's just so much on her plate that I'm just like oh well one is too much enough and I just don't want her to worry all the time so 